Yo, what is up, everybody? QS Cam here with story time with me. And this story is gonna involve either, no, it's gonna involve me either getting hurt or almost dying and ghost stories. There's gonna be more ghost stories at the end, mostly of this. So I'm gonna tell you guys about the car story of what the fuck just happened. Um, so I was going to school, typical day, regular gay school. And I was in fourth grade. Sorry about this. I have to move this stupid iPad and TV thing. Uh, let me shut that off. Because my phone kept going off before when I was doing this the first time. And it was pissing me off at first. But then, no, I just shut it off. But typical day going to school, fourth grade, you know, about nine years old and stuff. Stupid. Uh, so my mom just dropped me off at my school. And I was crossing the street, and I didn't. I'm stupid for not going to the cr um, crossing guard. No, I went by myself. Didn't really, wasn't a smart decision at all. My mom really said, literally, she was like, go to the crossing guard. No, 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 no. I was like in the middle of the street. No, 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 no. go to the crossing guard. So I turned back and go to the crossing guard. I was like, no. And then so I was behind this truck that, the other people on the other street went going like the other way, couldn't see me. So uh, it was an empty street, right? So I was going, I was like in the middle of the street on the other side. Boom, this car comes in speeding, like almost hitting me. I freaking ran across the street. I was like, holy shit. And keep in mind that this street was big, a big road. It was like really um, wide. So it would take a little to cross the street. So when I crossed the street, um, so yeah, I was in the middle of the street and that car just came in speeding and everybody was like looking at that car like, what the fuck making our children off thing? And I was the kid that almost got hit. <laughs> everybody saw basically, but I didn't get hurt. I could have got hurt. Stupid decision. That's why I always cross the street uh, looking at every place. Don't go behind trucks. Keep in mind to everybody. Don't go behind trucks crossing the street. Even though a car could just come speeding and hit you. So watch out, guys. Be careful out there. But um, after like after school, when my mom was picking me up, she was like, that little bitch in that white car, I would have slut. I, I, I almost said slice. I usually say I'm going to slice your balls off, but... Um, she was like, I would have punched that bitch in her face. <laughs> she was like sitting there swearing because, um, that, um, that girl almost hit me. But, it's alright. So, the ghost stories now. These are interesting ghost stories. This was in my old house. Uh, my grandma used to live downstairs. My cousin used to live upstairs. And my family, middle floor. So, um... <laughs> The upstairs was haunted, my cousin's house, <laughs> which sucked for them because they got the most out of it. So I don't know if the ghost came from my aunt that followed her because she had some um, childhood experience of ghosts, but my mom didn't for some reason. She might have saw like two things, but she didn't have it as worse as my um, aunt. So we moved in. We had nothing to worry about. And then, so the ghost... This was when they were upstairs. We were all upstairs, actually, in their computer room. It was me, um, my sister, my cousin, my other cousin, and my brother. We were all in the computer room. And so we heard, boom, this big clash, breaking dishes and stuff. The, the thing that happened was the drawers in the kitchen opened up. All the plates just fell out for no reason. Uh, we had to clean it up. Our parents came home. They were asking, like, well, who who broke all these? We got punished because they didn't believe us. I mean, maybe our aunt thought, like, it might have happened, but who knows. But they thought we did it, so. <laughs> Anyways, um, so, yeah, actually, the re when we got older, like, I was, like, maybe 12, it was like one year apart actually so when we were when I was 12 and my cousin was like maybe 17 or something sister like four, 15 or something 
whatever, who cares? Um, <laughs> we were, she was like telling us the experience she that happened to her, that when this happened. So this one night she was in her bed and she was just sitting there and she was scared because she already had like those ghostly experiences. So she knew something was gonna either happen. So she looked at the closet she had in her room and a knife was going in and out f through like the door and she was like, whoa. She, she thought she was gonna like either die. She thought like a killer was in the house. She opened up the closet with like, I think she had a glass in her hand or was it a knife? I don't know, I forgot about that part. But she had something in her hand. She opened the door and nothing came out. And her room turned cold, really cold. And that sort of is freaky because when I seen so many like paranormal activity movies, not paranormal activity, because I don't even know if those are fake or real or some shit. But like a haunting movies, like when I used to either be homesick. Um, holy shit! I just got scared talking about this. Because I heard something in the kitchen and nobody's home with me by myself. But, um, what was I going to say? Shit. God damn it. <laughs> Forgot. Whatever. I'll just forget about that now. Yeah, her room turned cold. A haunting. Um, so her room turned cold. And that's like a spirit involved with some shit. So it made me seem like either the ghosts follow her or there was already a ghost in the house. So, yeah, uh, the TV shut one day for no reason. We thought it was just like those gay technical difficulties or a problem in the TV. But no, nah, it was just the TV shutting off. And then one time the black screen came. It was like, whoosh, you know, the, back then the TVs, how like it was gray and white, the screen. But... But uh, we ran out of the house when that happened. <laughs> we already knew there was a ghost in there, so we left. We didn't even care. But another thing was, that one night, because I was scared, uh, I woke up instant. Woke up, stood up, looked in the hallway of my room. My door was open. A guy standing there looking at me like, uh... He looked like some Edward Scissorhands guy, but it was not. It was just a guy with, like, some black hair, looked emo as fuck, and he was staring at me. Scared the shit out of me. I was screaming, crying, like, <laughs> at nighttime, too. And my mom came rushing in, and when I looked back out in the hallway, nobody was there. It was like he disappeared. And this is where the cold part came in. Like, it came in and started to become cold. It was cold as shit. I was like shivering. Holy shit, that noise is that scaring the fuck out of me. <laughs> Just talking about it. But, who knows. It could have been ghosts. Maybe I was just seeing shit when I was little. But this is the creepiest one that have involved me and my aunt. So my aunt one day, everybody was like gone except me. My grandma, my grandpa, and my aunt. She was up in her house. I was downstairs with my grandma and my grandpa. So uh, my aunt was sitting there curling her hair because she was doing her hair and shit. And she looked in the mirror. She saw this little kid that was like the size of me run with a cape under the bed. Not under her bed, under uh, my cousin's bed in the other room. So she followed the kid under the bed she looked under it, the kid screamed and disappeared. That shit was creepy as fuck, cause she thought it was me. And she thought I was like playing games, like running around and stuff. But no, it wasn't me. That was scary for me. So that's gonna be it for all you guys. That's my ghost story and my stories of almost getting hurt. But I'm gonna, I joined a clan called Sleek, Sleek. I'll leave their channel in the description below and like and comment on this video. My name is going to be Sleek Xeni, which is a Greek word. Not going to tell you what it means. Just kidding. <laughs> I'll tell you guys later. But 
I'll see you guys later. I'll tune in for more videos. I'm going to be posting like either Friday or Saturday or something. So I'll talk to you guys later. I need to come out with like an intro instead of going, oh, peace out, guys. Peace out. Just kidding. Uh, that's what I'm going to really say right now. So peace out, guys. Peace out, guys. I'll talk to you guys later. Tune in for more videos. I'm out. This is awesome.